Hey guys, how are you going? And oh, welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 22 career mode. In today's episode, we're playing the final episode of the Ashes. So uh, we lead by 177 runs. We're 4 for 58. And uh, look, it's going to be a fairly interesting uh, last couple of days here. But before we get stuck into the action, let's take a look at the Truth 22 headlines. And welcome back to another edition of the Truth 22. With the main headline reading, Ashes decide hangs in the balance. Who wins from here? Now, of course, Australia do have a lead of 114, but they're four down for 58. So England can skittle Australia for maybe under 100, 150, 200 maybe. Then it gives them a real good shot of winning the Ashes. But at the moment, it's all to play for. After England winning by an innings in the previous match, that also happened in the previous episode. Unbelievable uh, amounts of scenes there for England, and Australia just didn't show up. So a bit unfortunate for Australia, but... The match hangs in the balance here. What is going to happen? And one of the smaller headlines here coming out of the Chief 22 is that the investigation is underway regarding on-field antics. Now, that is thanks to the YouTube commenter, Danny the Cat. So welcome to the newsroom, lad. And yeah, all I'll say, it's between two Australian fielders. And uh, look, there's an external review going on, a bit of an investigation, and maybe we'll see the results, maybe not. But uh, yeah, just keep your eye uh, keep your eye out on that one. And moving on to the right hand side here with the headline reading Smith selection baffles supporters. Now that is thanks to the YouTube commenter Young Clueless. So welcome to the newsroom. And uh, yeah, we did mention in the previous episode that we brought him in for a bit of experience as he's had a, quite a few Ashes campa campaigns under his belt. And I was just hoping, regardless of how what his overall was, which I think was in the 70s, that he would come through and the experience would show. But unfortunately, it didn't really do too much in the first innings. Don't think he did too much. And the second inning scored 15. And yeah, likely uh, scenario, it was a stinker of a selection. And one of the main stories coming out of the Chief 22 is the headline reading, is this one of the best Ashes series to date? Now, it is two all heading to the fifth and final test. You don't get many that, uh, that hinge on the fifth test with a result. But it looks like we will definitely get a result here. Day three, uh, yeah, but look, definitely going to be a result happening here regardless. No draws here. The only thing I would have wished though is that we could have seen who had won previous Ashes in the uh, in the career mode, but not to be. But anyway, what are your thoughts uh, on the Ashes? Who is going to win this? Very tightly contested. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But uh, that'll be it for this week's edition of the Chief 22. Once again, another fantastic edition of the Chief 22 there. We've got one more left, which will be next episode. And then that'll be it for the Chief 22 until the next either Ashes or World Cup. But let's take a look and see what happened here. So we scored 312 in the first innings. 30 out of 79 we scored, which is, wasn't too bad. Uh, having a look at the English bowling, Tung took 6 for. We had a cheeky bowl. We actually bowled the best we've bowled in quite some time. 5 for 31 of 14.5 overs with 8 maidens. And now we're about to head out to bat. We've struggled 4 for 58 at the moment. And uh, can we get that lead up to around 300, 350 would be nice. It is day three, 310. So last session to day three. Still a lot of time to play. Here we go. Dunedi 2 for 21 off eight. We face one ball. We uh, left it alone. Here we go. Lead of 177. Oh, that's a wide. Wow. Now I haven't played in a week. And with these sliders, like I'm really going to have to go very defensive early on here. Just try and get that confidence up because it doesn't take much for us to lose our wicket here. Especially if we're trying to drive, like the best sort of our uh, best bet is like sort of stepping across yeah. and doing that. We're going to get a single out there. We're off the mark, but yeah, driving this early on usually spells disaster for us unless we time it perfectly, which I'm not trusting myself at the moment. Especially with Moriarty, the spinners have been all over us, as in Critchley and Moriarty. We've been getting out to blocking it. I'm going to leave that one because that's moving a bit but yeah today we're going to find out who wins the ashes let me know who you think or right now honestly it's quite close to call it really depends on how we bet i reckon i mean we've got a lead of 189 which isn't too bad but the english batting the last couple episodes have been sensational so we've really got especially like sibling hamid up top been pretty good i don't know it's there's a lot going on. I've just got to try and make sure that we don't get out blocking it to a spinner again. We've lost a wicket. Fife, 75. pikovsky has gone. English, the new bat. Dangerous. Now we've just got to survive. I mean, if we can last until the end of the day at least. Are we did lead 194. Ideally, 
300 to 350 is the target, I reckon. Now, if it's a draw, I'm not too sure what happens. I mentioned it last episode, but it would be nice uh, if we know if we knew the history of the past Ashes test, so we know if we can draw it, then we retain it, or what's going on? I don't know. Unless you like, if we haven't actually played it, which we haven't, then we've got no idea really. Okay, it looks like it's actually T now. Okay, so we've got last session coming up. Sorry, I thought it was already last session, but it wasn't because I don't know cricket. Five seventy-five. Moriarty once again, none for seven off six. Survival is the aim of the game at the moment. And I mean, he's top wicket taker. Well, actually, we might be close now. Because we were second and then we took five. So, don't know. Anyway, not not about that at the moment. It's about not getting out to this Muppet. Dunedin, they finally not facing any spin. They've changed while well, they've switched bowlers, which is good. Dunedin, what's he got? Oh, jeez. How about the bouncer on him? Definitely want to step over because there's no one at square leg. There we go. Full bungers. Cheers, mate. It's going to go for 4 2. That's our first boundary. It's only taken us 33 deliveries, but we have got one. Potsy's back. Uh oh. He's only about three overs, which I find surprising since they're 35 deep. Anyway, English 10. We're on 5 of 33. Hmm. No run. Very defensive now. They've got three out. Interesting. See what Danidi's got for us. He's taken two. Got to look solid. Want to get that confidence up before we start driving. I'm just worried about schnicking off because it's quite aggravating, to be honest. But uh, Danidi's bowled well. They've gone. They've changed the field up. They're changing it every ball. Leave that one. 5.95. Endless 15. Potsy charging in here. Last ball of the over. Got to watch out. Oh, that is quick. No run, end of the over. Tell you what, Inglis flying. 18. Get around it, mate. We'll just continue to try and move across and hit some on the leg side. Oh, fuck off. No, fuck off. Oh, my lord. I was about to flip. All right, might have to stop that. Interesting. Duck. Tell you what, Denethi, with this new slider pace, is just wanting to bowl absolute bounces at our face. Moriarty's back. Fuck. Look, I'm not a fan yet. Not a fan. No run. Extra cover looking very nice at the moment. Christ. Lucky. First sign of trying to drive it properly. It was too, too short to sort of drive at. And I just want to see how close it actually got. But... Luckily, they've only got two slips in, which I find very odd for us, where we seem to be struggling at the moment. Oh, yeah, huge gap. They would have gone to like a fifth slip, maybe. Anyway, Denise, they're replacing pots here. Good. 10 off 50. My days. English 22. Yep. There we go. The old faithful step across. We're on to 5 for 108, leader 227. Uh, Apologies that this might not be exciting cricket. But, oh jeez, it's starting to take the stumps off now. Are we, I'll go back a bit. But I'm really keen to try and win this. So I'm going to be trying hard to, uh, to get a decent score. We're just going to try and build that confidence up. I don't know what it's at at the moment. It's green. Okay, we're starting to see some confidence being shown here. And now they've got the field out. Going to leave that one. He's inviting me to drive here. This is good bowling from Moriarty. He's trying to set me up. Now he's reverted back to it. Back to the standard, although no man in short on the offside. Oh my lord! This is masterclass in spin bowling here, and I've got no idea. I just wanted to go through extra cover. And, uh, just being shown up here. Oh, it runs. I meant to just hit it on the, to like, square leg on the boundary, but that's gonna go for. What did I run to? That was silly for me. Not out. Don't you dare give that. Tongue's back. Only by the nine overs. Took a while. Are they going to go up here? We'll take a look. I think it's hit us outside off, and I don't think it's got any chance of moving back in. So a quick look at Big Eye, and plus, it might be too short to... Uh, yeah, way outside off, and also missing. Right. Tongue's back. Oh, we've lost Inglis. Far out, boys. Nope. 
Why am I trying to play that now? The wicket's rattled me somewhat. Mid wicket. Let's move across. That's plum. I'm gonna go up. I just did not want to bar off that bowling. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Now, is there a chance that it's too high? I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get done by umpire's call. It's always worth having a little uh, check upstairs though. Is it gonna move a lot? That does not bode well for me. Absolute fuckery from me. Once again, out, moving across the stumps. Ah, oh, I'm not even mad about, well I'm mad about getting out, I'm more mad about the comments I'm going to get about how shit I am, but you know what, if you live and you learn, 14 off 80, get fucked. Here we go, we're bowling, 60 poles at 12.57, pressure for Pfeiffer, they're 2 for 19, what are they chasing? We scored 178, green 40 not, that could be huge. What do they need? They need 278 to win, 2 down already. It's day four, first session of day four, almost lunchtime. That is a lot of runs. Now we're coming fresh off of Pfeiffer. What do we do? I am going to, let's just run this field. Right, let's go. Yep. Oh, cheeky run, not bad. Sibley's the big wicket. He's been in some great form since he's been introduced into this side. Blocks that one, blocks it well. No, Hazelwood, don't go throwing the ball elsewhere. You don't need overthrows. Two for 20. Well bold, good pace. Got to keep that up. Oh, three down. Get around it, three for 20 now. Critchley the new batter, Brooks gone. Oh, well driven. We do invite him to drive, because we do want him to try and produce an edge. By that time, Sibley's just been in some great form. Moves on to 19 with that. And now he's got some good confidence. Oh boy. Well left. Last ball of the over. Just bowling short of a length. Don't want him to drive really well. I kind of want him to. But if it's short of the length and he's trying to drive, then that's good for us. Pitch proving difficult to bat on. Recently here. When that first innings from us, what do we get? 300? 312. And then 193, 178, 3 for 30. So the pitch has been, been made tougher to bat on as the days have gone on. So thank goodness we're not batting last year. Can we snag a wicket though? We've already had five in this match. Can we get another five? Now the Yorkers have been, well, well sometimes. But when they're on, they're on. We've taken a couple of wickets with them. But then sometimes it's a full toss like that. And... Oh! I actually think that's out. They're appealing. I think it's out. He's out. My goodness. I did think as he took off, I was like, Jesus, mate, you are going to be struggling. But with the dive from the field, I thought, oh, he might be home. But he's absolutely burnt himself. Why has he done that? That's silly Sibley. Silly Sibley. 19 of 44. Freeman. That's Burgess. We're going to take another replay of this because this is one of the all-time brain fades. We've seen a few of them ourselves from us, but this time it's Sibley. It's on a full toss. It takes off quite late. Oh, he turned, oh, he turned around. Oh, look. It's, he's about to pick it up. He's got it now. Oh, no wonder. Who was Who's the other one? Critchley. He's already taken off. He's, he's away. And now... Oh, he sort of shot himself in the foot there. A bit of yes, no, maybe. Oh, fuck. And he is long gone. Unbelievable. Now they are four for 30 with Critchley and Burgess. Two relatively new bats. That is huge. And that is quick. Pulling our fourth over here. Four for 31. Burgess on one. Uphill task for England right now. Uh, looking at Winvers, we're probably... Uh, I'd say 80% chance of winning here. Maybe even more. Oh, it goes for it. Oh, oh, we stopped it. How about that? Let's, uh, let's go again. Yep. Oh, no. Just fit him there. Easy runs for Burgess. Gets a boundary. That's uh, released some pressure somewhat. Did not need that. That's silly stuff. We'll, we'll follow it up with another one. Might not be expecting it. Although if he is, then good luck. Drove that well. We're back. Enough nine or four, and hold the phones. 
7 for 62. It's fair to say, and I am going to go the early crow here, that we've won this. I'm throwing it out there. We are not going to lose from here. We need three good bits of cricket. They need 230 odd. With the Robinson 14, Potsy is out there facing. I just can't see any way how they could win this. So get around him. Hopefully we can snag a couple wickets for ourselves though. Gotta be a bump ball, though it just, just looks so good. Pulling our 7th over, 9 for 9. Pulling to Robinson this time. Ooh. Pulled that one very, very quickly. 7 for 76. Just going through the motions at the moment. We've already cracked the beers on the balcony for the in the, in the Australian dressing rooms. Ooh, getting close. Has anyone bowled a batter and they, as they've left it? And like, they've actually just left it and like not come off anything. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it would have been coded in to have that sort of chance happen. But if anyone has, then let me know. So I think Richardson just took two in the over. Nine for 76, riding on the wall. What an anti-climax. Oh. I want to actually want to get Robinson off strike so we can bowl to Moriarty. There we go. Very defensive for Robinson here. Oh. Uh-oh. Please be buys. Thank goodness for that. That just took off. Okay, just going to bowl on his legs. We've got plenty of fielders out there on the leg side. How's that? I reckon it's missing leg. But you know what? We should have three, so we're going to challenge it. Oh, we are worse than Watto. Let's have a look here. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Still in line, but yeah, missing. Yep. How's that? Another bump ball, I reckon. Oh, we're getting a lot of those now. Robinson just does not want Moriarty to face. And that, that makes sense. Just delaying the, in, the inevitable though, really. There we go. Just the one, please, sir. Come back. Throw it in, mate. There we go. Moriarty on strike. Going for a Yorker straight up. Get him playing. Only faced a six delivery so far. Oh, he's on it straight away. He probably saw it coming. And there we go. We've, we've done it. We've won it. 7 for 49, though. What the actual shit? That's unbelievable. And uh, absolutely sensational scenes. We've won the Ashes. We've won the last match by 205 runs. Wow, I didn't think it would. Uh, they would capitulate like that. But they've done it. And look at this. Here we go. Richardson's second play of the match. I'm just going to get rid of my base so we can see the full celebrations if possible. How's it going to go? Looking good there, Jai. Well done on your 7th uh, fur and play of the match. Sure hit. There we go. Get around it. Cheeky. Got the shades on too. That Ashes trophy is looking huge. Who's... Uh, uh, yeah, just unbelievable sense. It actually looks quite good with the... They've got a different... Um, like hoard, uh, advertising hoardings and stuff for the, for the winners. That's nice. Better than just the, like, the Cricket 22 logo put down the bottom. But uh, absolutely sensational scenes there. Get around it. Australia win the Ashes 3-2. So let's unpack the match. Australia 312, batting first. Street 77, Pukowski 61. We picked up 30 out of 79. Not too bad. We snicked off, of course. And then we had a bowl. We bowled sensationally. We picked up 5 for 31 of 14.5. Richardson there took 2. So he took 9 for the match. Good on him. We batted, we struggled big time. 14 off 80. Really just could not get going at all. And uh, yeah, everyone sort of shared the uh, the wickets there. And then, yeah, what? Four ducks, two goldens. Just not good cricket from England. 92 all out. Richardson picks up seven for 49 off 18. He picked up none for 13 off 11. Freeman of one and two run outs in the mix too. But uh, there we have it, the Ashes series done and dusted, Australia winning in an absolute uh, nail-biting series. Apart from that last day, 3-2. Here we go, team bus, where the beers? I was going to say, well done everyone, <laughs> that's exactly what we expected of you. No shit, mate. well done, cheers. And uh, we've got some uh, press conference. We all guessed that this tour would be a close one, and do you know what? It's, it's a draw. Well, no, it wasn't. Uh... Once again, come on lads, these journalists absolutely suck. We'll be looking at taking a look at team rosters to try and work out if you need to make changes for the next tour. Um, 
I don't know. If I'm looking at team rosters, I'll be staying on the team roster. So yes, I'll be very involved with that process. Yes. Enjoy the break. We'll look forward to seeing what the team does next. Thank you. Ashes now complete. Ah, I don't think we're going to get a look, are we? Nah, that's this morning. Oh, such a bugbear of mine that we don't get that at the end. Oh, well. You get that in the big jobs. What do we have now? We're 94 overall. We're flying back to Tigers, to Tigerland. Uh, Tassie Tigers. Uh, we're going to play. Well, Morgan finished in 6. Nice. Don't think I've played a game all season. Uh, Marsh, Sheffield Shield Press Conference. I'll just skip this. So here we go. I did skip that first game. We uh, were 12th man, so we didn't play. But because we've, we are traveling now to Dhaka. To uh, play Bangladesh in three 2020s. And then we'll be skipping that match as well. With it, cause, because then we've got some 2020s at home. And then after that, playing Pakistan. I've got a little Pakistan tour here. They're playing some 2020s and some... How many test, two test matches and then we're playing New Zealand and some test matches looks like three and yeah that's about it for now when are we getting a World Cup I don't know but anyway that should wrap up the episode thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed today's episode please leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling up to it leave a comment down below always appreciate reading those but until then take it easy